welcome back to the Niagara Learning Channel this next video is to do with water levels and to maintain a certain water level so we'll start by making a folder first water level check let's just put a capital L there and the fact we won't use spaces but we'll use underscores water level check so that's our folder let's just make it the same size as that one and let's go into this folder let's do a header water level check background and we'll give it a border so we'll save that expand that across let's put some description of operation notes and let me take that description of operation across from there Save Maintain water level in a water tank at minimum of 8 foot from the bottom of the tank. If the water level drops, then top up the tank to at least 10 foot. So a differential of 2. Alarm to be set below 6 foot and after a 15 second delay, minimum active time for the valve is 20 seconds and minimum inactive time for the valve is 30 seconds. Right, so the first of all we'll get um, water level. So we've got some of the monitors the water level and input there. And we're in feet it could be whatever you want but we're in feet for this time so I want to go to none of them um, where the hell is feet 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 length foot Take out the decimal place, save, and we'll set that to, I don't know, 10 foot at the moment. So that's our level, and then we're going to operate a valve, so let's just do a normal Boolean writable, and we do make up, make up valve. In slots and we want even an open or a close there won't we so true we open valve close valve see this minimum active time and minimum inactive time we'll be using this bit here in this standard boolean writable so I'm going to composite them to the outside of the folder so we haven't got them at the moment there but if I do a pin slots not pins yeah pin slots minimum active time minimum inactive time in milliseconds at the moment so let's just do a um, minimum set point numeric writable minimum active time actions take all uh, pin slots sorry 
pin slots 10 and set set that time to seconds time seconds take out the decimal place should we have a minute and active on there um, zero and I presume we put 30 seconds as a maximum actions set so we'll put that to 20 minimum active time for the valve is 20 seconds let's just put set point at the end of that and then the other one is minimum inactive duplicate inactive time set point and the other one was 30 seconds and then I need to multiply them by a thousand because it's milliseconds that the boolean writable will accept so seconds to milliseconds times that by a thousand Put that 20 into there and take that and minimum active time 20 seconds duplicate that notice it's put a one at the end because you can't have two blocks the same wording I could actually just rename that and put a capital M and a little s or just do MS and then I don't have the one there. We'll do that to uh, set that to a, a false, a close. Now we need to write some logic. So we're going to use a T stat here. HVAC T stat. And we want it on at 8 foot. Is it eight foot? Yeah, on at eight, off at ten. Two, two, yeah, ten. On at eight, off at ten. Pin slots, expose, and the action. Control variable is going to be that. The set point, lower level set point. So we need one of them. Duplicate. Lower level set point. That's going to be in feet. Feet. And we we'll set that to eight foot, and we got a diff differential. Diff set point. We we'll put that to two foot. Should we put a minimum max in there? So that we can go zero. Well, no, we'll put a 1 there and we'll put a 5 there. I'm just winging this at the moment. And then we've got a, a set point alarm as well. Alarm to be sent below 6 foot. Duplicate. Level. Set point. Alarm. And we've got six foot there. I'll change that maximum to, I don't know, 10 foot. Minimum, one foot. Save. Action set to six foot. So we can only select between one and 10 foot there. 
that one. Oh, let's take out these. Uh, see, I've got actions, emergency, and all this lot. Let's take all these out, lot out. AX slot sheet. Highlight them. Config flags. Hidden. OK. And then I'm going to have to do the same for these. Views. AX slot sheet. Config flags. Hidden. Same as that one. Views. AX slot sheet. Config flags. Hidden. And it would probably be the same with these. They are. Views. AX slot sheet. Config flags. Hidden. And that one down there. AX slot sheet. Config flags. Hide. So now when I right click that, I've just got the set. Right click that, I've just got the set. Right click that, I've got the set. Set on that one. And set on that one. So set point is 8 foot, but we've got a differential. So if I wanted it on at 8 and off at 10, what I would do is I would have that in reverse. I'd take that to false. And then my set point, I would have it at a 9, and, and then I'll use a 2. So 9, and I'll use a 2. So that's 1 foot either side and I want it to go on at 8 so I've got to so that's 9 take away 1 and I want it to go off at 10 that's 9 plus 1 let's just check that actions set to 8 we're now true actions set to 9 and it still be true action set to 10 and it's false actions set to 8.1 should be false which it is actions set to 8 which is true actions set to 9.9 .9, which would still be true actions set to 10 which should be false so that's my 9 that's my 2 so I'm going to put the differential in there anyway but the set point we've got to work on so we just want an add block here in case anyone changes a set point they won't be they won't have access to change this set point value here so it's no good me putting that 8 straight into there. What I want to do is I want to put an add block there. And we'll name that set point. Set point diff. So that's feet at the moment. I got off. yeah take that one and then I'm going to take the diff and I'm going to divide it by two so differential a divide I want divide I'll rename that diff divide by two we we'll put the diff in there So that should give us a one, which is actually a one foot. Let's just put that there, either side. And then add that into there to give me nine foot. Let's just try and space these out a bit so we've got a little bit of, you 
can see the lines between them. So we've divided that differential by two. So if we change that differential and we put the differential now at a four, that's put that set point to two. Again, 10 take away two is eight. But that's going to actually switch that off now at when it gets to 12. Actions set to two. So nine plus one is 10. Nine take away one is eight. I mean, I presume I can put that then straight into there. Bring that down there. That's nice and neat. Now we need to do this alarm business. So we need a less than block. We're interested in less than. don't want that in there we want that in there and we want that in there so that's my water level I'm just trying to just make it nice and steady there so less than so that's water low gonna be water low water low okay my cat's having a sneezing fit right where were we um do, 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 do water low right gonna have a delay on that timer ruling really delay you could do it this way or you could do it another way but we'll, we'll do it this way anyway and i can show you the other way in a bit um, we want to expose the pin slots and the on delay, active and on delay. And we haven't put a time in there, so let's put a time in there so that can be adjusted as well. Duplicate, alarm, delay, time. And what did it say? 15 seconds. Action set to 15 seconds. Duplicate that. MS. Put that into there. On delay 15 seconds. So we don't need the out knot. So we could just close that one down and then we need to put an alarm in there then now so another boolean writable and low water alarm low water alarm don't want that. Wrong one. New low water alarm. And then we need to put an alarm block into there. Let's take out the N16. So false is healthy healthy low water exclamation mark uh, sorry wrong way wrong way control key C healthy for that one false is healthy save and then we need to get the low water alarms and extension boolean change of state put that into there false is healthy 
water level healthy. Water level low. Leave it at that. Low water, yeah, that's the one that we want to save. So we could have put a delay in here if we wanted to. In fact, I'll bring down, I'll bring out the time delay out of the, let's go back into that composite and bring out the time delay there so that's the time delay and what we could have done is put that into there so it'd be 15 seconds before it actually alarms and we didn't need that in any way whatsoever now if, if we did it that way but we're doing it the other way so I need to put that back to a zero. Put that back to a zero. Save. That's all right, I'm just wondering why that's... Let me just do a zero. Numeric writable. Action set. Zero that into there delete that so when we go into an alarm so let's do that actions emergency override let's go to five foot we haven't got the 15 seconds there on delay that's gone straight into our alarm That's because I am an idiot. Right, that's better. Actions, emergency override to 11. Actions, emergency override 5.9. Uh, time in 15 seconds. And then the out will go to a true. There we go. Emergency override 11. So that's now false. We've still got an open there because we're going through the 20 seconds. Um, Minimum inactive time, sorry, we're going through the 30 seconds, but we're closed in a minute. And it's just closed. See this in 16 here, uh, in 6, this is the one that does the minimum active and minimum. So let's do the, let's expose that. The in 6, so we can see it. let's bring that down emergency override let's put that to eight we've now opened we put it back up to normal 11 so we're asking it to be closed but at the moment it's in 16s writing before that so you've got all your ins here in one right through to in 16 in 6 sorry is writing below that I know I said 16 it's in 6 is writing below that so that's closed now actions emergency override put that down to 6.5 so we're asking for that to be true we're asking it to open but we're now going the minimum inactive time of 30 seconds now it's opened so it was 30 seconds minimum inactive time and then if we get back to the temp back up to normal emergency override to say 11 we're still timing that 20 seconds at the moment but eventually 
it will go to close, it has now. I don't think there's anything else we need to do there. I think that could say water low. I've already got water low capitals there, so I'll just put low there. Water low. On an eight, off at 10. At that set point of eight and a two degree differential. Can't think of anything else that I would need to do. The alarm works. I presume I could show you the alarm work in the other way. So if I take that 15, put it into there, and take that out of there, and take it just from the in there, and we put it into alarm. So we're not using this block really. It's, that's going straight through. In fact, let's just, so I don't confuse matters, let's just take it straight from there. And let's just take that completely out of the equation. So that's the water low and the time delay. So let's now, actions, emergency override, let's put it down to four. So we've got the water low coming up but we haven't got an alarm yet. It will go red when there's an alarm and it will be after 15 seconds. See it's gone red there now. That's now the alarm. So you can use it that way without using that one block if you wanted to. If I just do a control key Z, will it all go back to should do. Yeah, I need to still put a... The thing is, if I leave that 15 seconds, that's going to then be 30 seconds. Because it's going to be that, and then that. Let me put that back to zero. Actions, emergency override 11. Healthy, closed. And then actions, emergency override, put it down to seven foot or seven meters, whatever you want to. We're asking it to be open, but there's a minimum inactive time delay. Thirty seconds. Now it's open. Emergency override to eleven. Now it's doing the twenty seconds minimum active time. It's got to be on for twenty seconds. No matter what happens with the input, it's got to be on for twenty seconds. And that's now closed. Okay, thank you for watching. And well, that's the end of this video.